Hello and welcome to this introduction to the WisePill API. This is a useful tool for the integration of the WisePill range of online smart pillboxes and dispensers. Using this tool, patient episodes can easily be linked to pillboxes and then used to track and assist individual patients through their medication schedules. Today we will be covering the following key subjects. Introducing the API documentation. Second, how to configure your pillbox to communicate with the server. And lastly, a quick survey of available function calls. Full documentation of all functions can be found on the WisePill website. A Postman public workspace has also been created that contains all API functions and detailed documentation. This workspace can be found at postman.com. Both links available in the description below. Send an email to support at wisepill.com requesting access. A username and API key will be sent to you. This will provide you access to both the sandbox and the live server. The WisePill API documentation. This link will take you to the main documentation which provides detailed information on each function call. Example code is given for all function calls. Use the second link to navigate to the Postman workplace where you can access the collection and create a fork so that you can develop your application using the tools provided. Loading a new configuration to the WisePill pillbox or dispenser. Make sure that you have the WisePill API configuration file. You can obtain this from support at wisepill.com. Note that the configuration file is different for the sandbox and for the main API. You may now go ahead and download the WisePill Caregiver PC app. Next, connect the device to the USB port. Select File and apply new config from the top menu. Once the configuration has been successfully loaded, the device will communicate directly with the API server. API Function Calls Several function calls are available which one can use to manage the devices and functions and to manage patient episodes. The standard way to use these functions is as follows. Firstly, find a device using the Find Devices call. Then, create a new patient episode. Now link the device to this episode using the Assign Device function. You can then set up the medication and refill alarms, the time zone and lid feedback for the specific pillbox using the appropriate calls. Note that the lid feedback settings may be left as their default values. After that you can monitor patient adherence using the get episode function call. The call will return an adherence string which provides detailed adherence data. When an episode is complete, you may unassign a device for reuse. Also note that some functions have multiple methods. Have a look at the examples included in the online documentation. For instance, the get episode function can be called with a single parameter to fetch one episode or with a JSON file to request multiple episodes. Thank you for watching and for your interest in WisePill technologies. Take care and bye for now.